today we're going to talk about house plants. Now, house plants are a great way to beautify your home as well as help purify the air in your home. While the individual care for each house plant varies, there are three basic things all house plants need: light, water, and food. So, how do you know how much light your house plants need? House plants fall into three different categories: high light, like the umbrella plant, the ponytail palm, and succulents, medium light, like the pothos, the dracaena, and the rubber tree, and then low light plants, which would be things like your snake plant or your Chinese evergreen. Now, how much light does a highlight plant need? A highlight plant needs at least six hours of bright or direct sunlight per day, and direct sunlight means light that is coming through the window. Medium light plants need about four to six hours of light per day, and then low light plants need some light but can tolerate less than four hours of light per day. So if you only have north-facing windows in your house, low light plants are the best ones to get. Your plant tag will often indicate how much light your plant needs. One other trick if you're growing house plants, especially in a sunny location, is to turn your plant a quarter turn every week. This will keep the plant growing upright instead of leaning towards the window because you're ensuring that every side of the plant is exposed to some light. A lot of people are concerned about not watering their house plants enough when in fact they're watering them too much. Most house plants do not like what we call wet feet. And what wet feet means, their roots being in constantly saturated soil. The soil should be allowed to dry down some before they're watered again. A great way to check whether or not your house plant needs water is to take your finger and gently insert it into the soil up to the knuckle. If the soil is moist, you can wait another day or two. If the soil is dry, then it's time to water. Some plants, like the peperomia here, likes its soil kept consistently moist, while most house plants will like to dry down some between waterings. And then there are plants like succulents that can go almost completely dry before you water them again. During the spring and summer months, when your plants are actively growing, they'll need to be watered more frequently, so make sure you check the soil often. In the fall and winter, when growth slows down, they'll need less water. Still check frequently, but you will not be watering as often. Just like your plants outdoors, your house plants need to be fed as well. During the spring, summer, and fall, they should be fed regularly. There's a couple different options, but make sure you select a plant food that is specifically formulated for house plants. If you select a liquid or a water-soluble version, that should be fed more frequently, every one to two weeks. If you go with a plant food spike option, they're fed less frequently. House plants should be grown in containers with drainage holes. Now, if you don't like the grower pot that it comes in, you can select a decorative pot without drainage holes, but make sure when you water the plant that you pull the pot out and set it in the sink or in a water collection tray. Water it thoroughly, and when it's done draining, then put it back in the decorative pot. Another way that you can dress up these decorative pots and hide the grower pot that it's in is to add some Spanish moss to the top of the pot to give it a nice finished look. Most house plants come from tropical regions of the country and like to be in areas of your house that stay between 65 and 75 during the day, which thankfully is most houses. The other thing to keep in mind when you're finding the perfect spot for your house plants is that still air is really bad for house plants. You can get a lot of disease and insect problems if it's in a spot in your house that does not get good air circulation. However, that air circulation should not come as a result of a cold draft, such as a door or window that opens and closes constantly throughout the day. Anybody can grow a house plant. The key to being successful is to find out your growing conditions and then select a house plant that will work in those conditions that you have.